Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, I'm starting on my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of awesome lessons. And then also down at the bottom is a sweet built-in message tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. I mention that because today our project comes from a suggestion, which was totally cool. Before I get to that, though, I do want to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. Friends, this is a join link. As you can see, there are more than 300 members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. So friends, on to today's project. This is a keychain with a custom font from the internet and the user said, hey, is there a way to make it so that the letters are connected? I don't have the perfect solution, but oh my gosh, I've got a fun solution. Let me show you what I found. First, you need to visit Google Font to SVG Path. There will be a link to this in the description of the video. When you get here, you can click on these. Once you've clicked it, you can use the arrows to move through and see how they're going to look. I have typed HL Mod Tech out here. I have left everything the same except I made the size 30. I filled in Union to see if that would connect them, but it has not. I left the rest of these the same and then I'm just clicking and checking until I find one that I think looks cool. So it's just down arrow, down arrow, down arrow and you do have to wait for them to show up. Now when you hit these if they get too fancy I'm going to warn you that it'll be tough to bring into Tinkercad. <laughs> you can see that one was a little silly and you also need to be patient because it may take a while for these to load. If you get a unresponsive page just be patient and wait for it to finally show up. So I'm looking through my different fonts to see if I find one I like. So when you look through these, this one is pretty complex. So I'm going to say that it's not a good choice, but I'm going to try this really thick one. I think it's going to be kind of neat. So all you do is hit download SVG. Notice I keep renaming these with the number after it. So that way I know which one is which. And let's bring it into Tinkercad. Friends, this is a blank Tinkercad project. And all we're going to do is hit import and we're going to hit choose file. I went right to my downloads where I saved it. This is the number two that I just had. We always choose the art. And then because I'm making keychains, I've got a rule 65 millimeters is the number I type. Press enter and hit import. Now you do have to wait a moment for it to load, but there is my cool new font. Now if we look, those letters are not connected. This is also super thick. So I'm gonna adjust this to size one and press enter. And this is where we connect the letters. Friends, we're going to switch from default to outer line. Now, when you first do this, it is huge because it has a line width of five. I'm going to tell you to type 1.5 and press enter. And all of a sudden, you will have the outer line width of your shape. Now, right now, it's got sharp corners. Let's change that to round and then let it adjust that is a little bit niftier friends are you ready for this Control d make the second one back to the default i'm going to change its height to 1.5 because i think this effect is pretty awesome and i'm also going to make the color different just because that way you can really see what we did boom you have got the letters all connected there's little gaps in here if you don't want those watch this I'm going to bring out a cylinder and I'm just going to shift shrink it till it fits in that hole. And remember the back was one. So if we just change this to one, you can fill in those spots so that they don't even show up. So I'm going to just take these two. Notice how I'm just selecting the two shapes. And when I group them, you have filled in the little holes if they annoy you. I do want to let you know that once we have grouped those, you lose the ability to make the adjustments. If you ungroup that, notice we could also see what it looks like with the flat edges. It kind of reminds me of the font that you have on your letter jacket when you're in high school. Friends, if you're turning this into the keychain, the last thing I would do is bring out a cylinder. I would make it round. I would hold down shift and squish it till it was the size I wanted out here. Once again, let's change that measurement to one so that it matches that size. And then we also need to cut out the hole. We can do that with a whole cylinder, make it all the way around. Let's do shift and squish. I always type size five. 
and then let's take these two. I'm going to do shift select and I'm going to align them with the orange one being the boss and I want middle, middle, and group. Now you've got the awesome little keychain and you can just connect it where you want. Probably the coolest way would be to select all of that and make the blue one the boss and choose middle. That my friends is a pretty nifty connected letter keychain in just a few minutes. One other quick bonus, watch this. If you double click to edit, you can grab the blue one and you could raise it up so it was the exact opposite style so the letters were cut in. How fun is that? Now I think the actual font border turns out cool when you have it the other way, but this being able to edit by clicking and then adjusting is pretty darn sweet. I'm also gonna click and turn on multicolor just because I thought that was a pretty cool addition as well. Last part of this, friends, is I wanna give a shout out to Gabs. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for nudging me down this path. I also am going to remind you, make sure you name these. So this is going to be called HL Mod Tech Keychain. Keychain, and I'm going to put connected so that later I can find it if I ever want to play with this project again. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.